okay, again, get, make another copy at the same time so you'll have a 60 second version because most shows will be 60. Um, have your music professionally dubbed. A lot of times you go to a show and the music will mess up or somebody will show up with, with a cassette tape or, or something. And it's just, you want to have it on a, a CD. Now a high quality CD, a lot of times people have the music burned and you better play that CD in a lot of players and make sure it works. Because if you're only playing it on one player and it works fine, you get to the show and they have this big setup, but that disc won't play. So now you have to use something else that they give you. So you want to have something that, that try that CD in a, a lot of different versions because there, there's different types of CDs that they have that are going to be compatible with all the different players that are out. Um, once you pick your poses that are your favorites and you're going to add them in, count between. Because if you know if you have 60 seconds, break it down so you know, okay, you're going to start, are you on, you know, every five seconds you count to yourself and you hit the next pose and then you work to the following pose know how long it should take in that transition to get to the next one, then hold that pose. And once you go through, you have your routine. And then just put it to the beats of the music. So hit, hit, you try to hit the poses on the beats and it looks even better too. When you see somebody that really has the routine down and you're in the audience, it just really looks great. Uh, props are okay, but try to limit them. People that use props through the entire routine, it just kind of takes away the physique. It, it's, it's overdone. Yeah, it's just, uh, and it could be corny. You want to do something that's really going to add to it and just make it exciting. If you, A lot of times people use soundtracks and they'll have a really cool soundtrack and, and there's something that goes with the routine. They'll come out and they'll go, oh, okay, this routine is that because you know the little bit of the prop is Superman instead of a cape. But then they get rid of the cape. They'll leave the cape on the whole time. Otherwise, they'll be like, oh, that guy's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> um, one of the things, I would just be aware if you decide to compete in different organizations, find out if props are, because um, there's there's one organization that does not allow props. And I've seen competitors be reprimanded for actually using them, so just to be aware of that. <laughs> NPC. Ah. Yeah, they even don't let you wear, some organizations for your posing outfit, which we didn't touch on either, I kind of forgot, but your posing outfit, it, have, it has a lot of sparkles on it, sometimes that's not okay. So you want to find out if, um, especially the women, they're, they're posing the posing outfits usually have a lot of crystals and stuff added in them, and some of them won't let you wear that in the pre-judging part of the show. So you want like a plain suit and bring that with you just in case. And no jewelry during the day for women for bodybuilding. So like maybe your, a wedding ring or like studded earrings maybe, but um, just no jewelry because you really don't want it to take away from your physique and your hard work. At night, it's a little different with the sparkles, but it's always a safe bet for women bodybuilders to wear just a plain suit during the day and dress it up at night. Um, make very smooth transitions from pose to pose. And once you see how it goes, you go to some shows and a guy does a front low bicep three times in a row. And just, it just doesn't look good because you know he probably forgot what he did or he's making it up on the spot. You want to go and see a performance. And you want to have somebody that's 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 really going to be out there to show it off. You know, it, it just adds so much to your presentation. Whether it's scored or not, the judges are probably looking. They're probably watching, and it could make the difference. You know, and in your overall presentation, you want to be very polished when you get there. It just makes you more of a complete bodybuilder when you, when you're competing. Uh, so choreograph your routine and practice it. In some routines, you'll see people that, that do this, and they do this, and it's like a lot in the routine. If your routine's good and they like it, they're just gonna yell for it, or there's nothing you can do for that audience. But a lot of that isn't really gonna make your routine great. So uh, a lot of times it's starting to get overdone now. So too many people are doing that. It's not making the crowd go crazy. So you wanna really try to do it with your routine and what you have together first. And uh, you know, some people, they do that once in a while, it can get a crowd going, but when, it, when a lot of competitors are doing it over and over, that is the routine, is that's what it becomes. Just them running around on stage, doing this and doing this, you know? It's, that's not the routine, you know? It's not the focus of what you're doing. It's because you didn't put anything together to practice, and that doesn't count. So, you know, the routine is really what you want to focus on. Uh, 
Um, stay in the best light. A lot of guys in the routine will act like a guest poser and they'll run to the front of the stage. Well, sometimes there's no lights at the front of the stage because when the stage sticks out a little further than when the lights come down and there's no spotlight on you and that moves with you, nobody's gonna see you. So you wanna stay in that section, move across and move across. But just remember to kind of look and know where the best light is. So when you, when you, if you know your routine moves around a lot, just make sure the lighting is, is adequate for that. Um, tell the DJ what your cue is. At our event, we always ask people before they go out, what's your cue? Are you going out to the music? Or are you gonna get out there and have the music start? So know when it is and, and tell that to the person before you go out. Or even write it. Get a nice CD with a white label. You don't want a CD that is the original CD that has a big label on it without your name. Put your name, your number, and what your cue is right on there so that they're not gonna mess it up on you. You know, and sometimes there's mistakes, sometimes things happen. You get out there and music doesn't work. Just walk off. You know, just like just walk off or just continue posing to the wrong music if it's okay music, if it's similar and your routine works to it, just do it. Nobody will know. Um, it looks better than getting mad. If you're there and you're mad on stage, again, like, like you said, you're being judged automatically once you're up there. People are in that audience are going, that guy's kind of a jerk. That's what they're thinking, you know? So, uh, and, and you don't want to do that. You want to just be respectful and walk off and then do your routine again. They'll get it right and send you back out. So if the DJ messes up, be professional. Mark your CD clearly, and 15 to 20 poses are recommended for a good routine. Um, you know, for uh, don't practice a two-minute routine. You can't expect to be able to do it on stage because it's not going to happen. You got to just stick with the you know a basic routine and make it good with good music, with with a little bit of, of you know you're acting into it and, and just make it really good. And just remember that this is. The part of the show where you're the person commanding. This is where you own the stage. This is where everybody is forced to look at you and you alone. You're not being compared against fellow athletes on stage at that time. So that one minute, it's like your one minute of glory. So you want to put on a show. Um, find the right balance between music that you think the audience will like and music that will enhance you. For example, Kevin is a big guy. You don't want to see Kevin on stage with some little flute and violin. <laughs> Sean, we see Sean with his, his piercings and earrings. We expect heavy metal. Day. You don't want to go Sunday evening strong. <laughs> so find the right music that the audience will appreciate. It will keep them in thin. Plus, it will make you look good. Transitions. We have definitely, I'm sure Brian's gonna discuss that. Know of a way from here to here, and how to get to here. You don't wanna hit a pose and then waste time in shuffling around. That, no, transitions are very important. So that will be brought on later. Very important. Good. You wanna add drama to your routine, and I've always been told that it's the beginning of routine and the ending of the routine that people remember. So you want to really um, pick your best poses and put them at the beginning or the end. Um, the dance is okay, but you don't want your whole routine to be dancing without posing. You know, and it, it can be really good. People break dancing, and, and the whole audience gets into it. They love it. But if the whole thing is that, then there's no posing. So you want to just try to have a balance to it. Um, people have their music professionally made, and they put a voiceover into it with something funny, and it's hysterical and the audience loves it. So if you can take something and your music stops, and there's a little voice that comes out and says something funny, it's hysterical and everybody just, they, they, they really like it because they know you put the time in, you thought about your routine, you made it funny, um, you entertained the crowd. Um, you get props, if you use them just at the beginning as a teaser, it's good. You know, you use them the whole time and it, it kind of it gets overdone. Um, Movie soundtracks are good music. Uh, stay away from anything with swear words. You got an audience there with family, people are showing up. You don't want to have music playing that you shouldn't be playing. You know, and, and people should know that, but you always get a few that play it anyway. And it's it's not respectful to the people in the audience. Um, get help with your routine. If you're not an entertainer, it's your first 
get somebody to help give you an idea to help you. Um, the video your routine and watch it again and see if you actually like it. You know, because it, it may look good on paper and you may have all your poses down, but then when you look at it, you go, well, I gotta change this and put something else in there. And then you can really view it from another perspective.